basically everyone's rocking up now. Uh, it's kind of pretty hectic in here. Finally really pulled it together. Uh, well, sort of, feels like it, we're getting there. Um, and so yeah, it's all just a bit crazy right now. It's a really heavy technical crowd. So we've got over 50% technical people. Basically the tickets were technical, non-technical. So yeah, well over 50% technical. Been dealing in PHP a little bit the last couple of years and um, looking to expand on that a little bit. I'm actually a designer at a big company. I'm from a business background myself. I'm in landscape design and course graphic designer. I'd say it's a bit of nervous tension at the moment and uh, not everybody knows each other but I'm sure by the end of the weekend there'll be some of us that know each other very well and um, some of us that probably still don't really know each other because we've all been holed up with others but um, I think it'll be exciting anyway. My name's Joseph Ziegler, I'm CTO of uh, Index Media and I'm going to show you the official iPhone app for Startup Weekend. As you can see, a limited edition. And its most important function is to join the entrepreneur with their beer. This is my first startup weekend. I met some of the other guys that were here last year and thought, well, this is just has to be done. The way it works is usually there's a, a bunch of technical people surrounding one or two non-technical business people and it's up to the business people to provide the leadership and the management and make sure that everybody is productively employed and on track. Uh, there's going to be a whole heap of people pitching ideas and then hopefully at some point we'll all form teams once we've decided on ideas and build some companies. And it's amazing to see how much can get done in just 48 hours. So I'm very excited. Probably know, um, and probably some business mentoring on how to monetize it. We didn't know each other at all. Um, we just came to pitch, a few of us pitched, and then we ended up um, deciding on this idea is the one that we all wanted to work on and make happen. Yeah, we got really lucky. It was Claire's idea. Claire pitched, and I think most of us were quite engaged with the yeah. the concept she proposed. We had two front end guys, two back end guys, and I finally convinced Aaron to come over and work with me on strategy. So we've got, we pretty much have the perfect team. We're Clubomatic. We're uh, creating a really simple way for clubs to get organized, keep track of their members, and collect uh, dues, so payments. We've talked to hockey teams, we've talked to big organizations, we've even talked to knitting clubs, so all kinds of stuff in Canada, the US, and Australia. Uh, two of us knew each other. John and Simon already knew each other. Everyone else, so they're gathered and uh, decided, you know, why not? I had my own pitch, but when I heard this one, I thought, you know, I can really work with this team, so let's get something started. Uh, to be honest, I'm sort of surprised that we all still like each other. Uh, lots of caffeine definitely helps. <laughs> and we just each have our skill set and we really respect each other's skill set. A, the business is called Last Minute Logistics and it's basically all about trying to get trucks full basically. A lot of the time they're going, they're full, can't get filled on the back end. So it's actually a very competitive sort of online service, whereas at the moment the broking service is such that it's quite labour intensive. So we're trying to rationalise that, trying to get the jobs quicker to the truckers and get them more productive and keep them in business in Australia. The idea itself for Increasing the the load capacity on, on on trucks when they're running empty a lot of the time uh, seemed like just such a prolific idea. I'm coming from a project management perspective, and, and Galen's coming from a sort of development side. Um, Mason's coming from sort of reach, research and marketing side, and uh, David's actually one of our mentors here. So we're looking at sort of financial analysis at the moment. Okay, the Farmgate Network's an online. Uh, community. It's a, it's a platform that facilitates a direct link between consumers and producers. So we're, we're cutting out the middleman and we're, we're trying to in, increase the local economy by reducing overheads and creating better functionality for the two. It's an innovative business where uh, consumers can pull their, their life from their, their social networks and present it in an engaging format for them. Yeah. So it intelligently collects uh, information from your social networks that's important to you and then you can produce it in a physical format like a photo book or uh, you know a calendar, the top 12 moments of your life last year, that sort of thing. There are some teams that are working really, really well. You can see that they're gelling, 
they have come together, everybody knows what role they're playing, and they're all pulling in the same direction, which is great to see. Here we go, this is why it's good to do demos before the real deal. It's uh, Sunday afternoon on Startup Weekend. The uh, startups have been working hard since Friday night. Uh, I'll get to about midnight. Uh, the place is about half full. Right now, everybody's very concentrated to get the last uh, couple of things done. So as you can see, everybody's pretty full on, making sure they have everything they need for the final presentation. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're practicing the presentation that we're going to be giving in about an hour and a half. This guy's very relaxed, but I'm freaking the hell out. <laughs> um, and the other two are, you know, just powering through. Yeah, feeling pretty good, but just needs to practice the pitch yeah. a lot. Oh, it's crunch time, as they say. Yeah. So final moments, we're doing our sort of last minute run through, and hopefully we can get this up and running by, the, by, uh, by four o'clock. <laughs> let's get tight, let's bring it in. What we want to do is connect people, with walls, get all the journalism students, take all of these sources of data and we're consolidating them onto one iPad app. We want you to be able to take those memories, put them into a, some sort of a physical format. And we've converted into a very laser focused um, concept for clubs. Give a better user experience and a better customer service. Guys, it's time to change how we learn. It's time to turn gaming into education. <laughs> You're like these superheroes to us because you guys put your heart and soul on the line. You know, you create value out of nothing, and we really want to encourage that in our strong. So see, now we have two big prizes. <laughs> the team that has won Startup Weekend Melbourne, theme pilot. Woo!